Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Long War of the Chosen Legendary Iron Man playthrough into the Void. It's time for Operation Ice Hammer and we are up against 18 enemies with a uh, pretty decent squad ourselves. I think it's Blood Angels here together with Toro's Baldilux and we can keep whatever we're killing plus we're, in for, uh, uh, we're intercepting reinforcements here and we're going to get enemy materials. So it's a win-win-win-win. Uh, typically we are not getting uh, these missions because they're very hard to spot, but we were lucky, so let's give it a go. Good, and I, sh I forgot to mention that this is also the first time that we're seeing coil weapons in action. Got some high ground here, and all we need to do is eliminate all of the enemy forces. That sounds doable. There is no need to speed through this. We have all of the time in the world. I will go. Taurus moves up. A Aaron high ground. Renman high ground. And Aviator we could use okay. as a starter on on for the very first pack. So there's going to be a general pack here on this map, uh, map as well. That's a great pack for a flame starter, a flamethrower start. Very good. Hmm. This here should still be okay. Might as well position ourselves here. Heading there now. Okay. Whilst we can, let's move up. like half cover but the positioning is just much much better and with a kill zone plus flamer opening this could be a great pack to engage <laughs> oh no why do you move in the wrong direction guys Okay, we do have Houston, we do have a problem. Mayday, Mayday. Um, how about we're moving to here? Fortunate. But maybe it isn't that unfortunate. Oh, okay, well, we're stuck here, but maybe it isn't that unfortunate. Maybe we can well, we salvage it by not being in both of the pegs ranges. Affirmative, covering now. Got it covered. I go away. 
as ordered. Okay, we can... There are multiple ways of starting this. There are definitely multiple ways of starting this, but for now let's just overwatch, hope this pack will move away and then we can engage with only one pack. Cool. Disaster averted for now. Could be a nice pull as well. That's a pretty solid one. Okay, cool. So. Taurus gets the aid protocol. We're doing a nice little kill zone. And let's just shred all of them. Very nice bit of damage. Nope. Nope. I have to wonder, how did that not completely and utterly obli obliterate everyone? How? If we move forward, we might pull the other pack, which of course is the last thing we'd like to do. Insanity. Gun got one problem less to worry about now. Tired of waiting around. Forty five. Can hit both, that is important. Before we do that though. A bit of extra damage. Time to burn. And burny nature then. Both burning, uh, both are burning and therefore out. Heavy mech. Oh yeah, coil weapons. Mm, so good. Lightning hands on the mutant. It's dead. It has to be dead. Gives us a implacable. Let's get the priest. just working through the hit point uh, bars of the priest. Good first pack, although I must say not all of it worked as intended. Kill zone is still going. Unfortunately stasis will be superior to what we can do. Very nice damage. Yeah. 
mind merging with Renvin so that he can take the overward shot. It's not only for the hit points, I also realized uh, they get more willpower and they also get more crit chance, which in itself is fabulous. Don't want to move too far away. Yeah, it's here. Collecting the loot. Overwatching. Back Reload. Move that. up. And just to be secure, because I don't like people yeah, standing in the open. Uh, it's too easy for an enemy pack to just move in. Here I come. Cool. Hmm. Look. This is very open terrain. And I'm wondering if it just would be smarter to stay here and wait for the enemy to arrive. We can still pull ourselves up. Okay, I'll go. Back online. Seems doable. All right. Overwatch. We're nicely reloaded. So pack either comes from up here, in which case we're pulling ourselves up, or it comes from down here, in which case we're just going to overwatch uh, them, I suppose. The biggest problem that I see is there is just no good cover here that will allow us to advance meaningfully. Okay, but maybe we don't need to. Enemy decides to move in a little bit closer. That Centurion is just eating a lot of shots. Alright, he decides he had enough. And let the Berserker take it. For a bit of a change of pace. Death now needs to go in. And we're just overwatching that region. Stationary combat makes for great engagements for us. Moves to here, 
move to there. I need shots against enemies that are not in cover. Got hit and run. Got implacable and this should be a kill. Alright, skirmisher just cleans house. down to like what one hit point good took one damage and we got an area to push into good that's a massive pack the greed it's always the greed aviator will be our front line but luckily I do have a backup plan for the breed, that is. Whatever you say. Give him some protection. Uh oh. Well, you don't have a really good rebuttal for that one. Luckily, the other Viper just knocked herself out. Tja, no stun Lancerino for you. I think we're immune. That stings. And sniper, viper, sniper moves up. Okay, cool. Well, listen, I had better turns in my life. Not going to pretend, but that was a fantastic turn. I was greedy and I paid for it. Just like this guy, he was greedy and he's going to pay for it. B 
before we're doing that though, uh, kill. Thank you. And then we're taking out both of these vipers. Fortify. Where would be the best flamethrower? I think here and then burning right into both of them. Let's do this. Oh yeah. Viper immediately dies. That guy is disabled. Okay, cool. up and let's try to kill the sector no nope. one more I think I got a piece. close but still not quite I can handle that. all right moving up The sector dies, I think the zombie dies. I I believe it was that sector who summoned the zombie. Impressed yet? The answer or the true part of it was it unfortunately was not. Zombie needs to come up here. Um A protocol, just in case the zombie decides to go over there. And another overwatch. Good, we're not moving. Burn, more burn. The fire works very, very well. that plus the riptide there we go he's killing the zombie hit on the sector a nice little kill. And get the Centurion down, which is fabulous as well. I guess that'll be okay. That made for a good fight. And it made for kind of a lesson of not to overextend. The speaker commended loyal citizens today for standing up to those who would abandon our values. Very good. That was a really, really good mission, with the exception of being greedy. That's a flaw, I think, that I'm trying to polish my gameplay every time I play XCOM 2, but that's a flaw I did not get rid of yet. Alright, Aviator, Bunker Buster, uh, that is a fantastic choice. And he will. we will not invest more points into him, so I'm wondering, do we want to give him Quick Draw 
which would give him kind of that extra shot every round, uh, which wouldn't be too bad for him. A cannot miss shot is great as well. I think we're going to do go with quick draw. And Baldi Locks had a promotion. Look at that. Advanced speed, that's great. Advanced suppressor, hair trigger, and so much money. We're rolling in dough, as they say. Body locks. Yeah, 22 days not happening. Start with uh, something that you are decent with. Very good. Okay, let's go. We need more missions, guys. We need more missions because we need to train everybody. So we got uh, supplies there, which is all fine, but look at that, 800 supplies, we're rich, richy rich. Um, still got a couple, a smash and grab mission here and recover the item mission there. We already are searching with 13 on Intel. We got a scientist here, eight Intel, or oh, what, four in hiding, new. No. I. Oh, th those are the ones that we just rescued. I was about to say, how could I have completely and utterly forgotten that many? So recruitment no longer needed. We got 13 on hiding and one spare, which is always good in case the inevitable attack will happen. Cool. Supplies 13, got some recruitment going on here, which is good. Got some recruitment going on here and there and there, which is all good. I mean, all is working according to the plan. One thing that is not working according to the plan is the lack of uh, missions. Yeah. I think we're going to do that next turn. And we're doing that right now so that we free up the slot for the mission. I'm not 100% sure. I know that there's only so many missions that are happening. But I was always under the assumption that that happens in every single region. From what this year currently appears, uh, mm, the missions might be spread out across all of the regions. Which really would be sad because that means we can only get like so many missions in those two regions. It is what it is because I can't really speed it up. I need, let's say, 10 people here to start um, grooming that region, although I don't like that terminology, potentially not the best one to use it on YouTube, uh, to start kind of building up this region. Um, this uh, same same ordeal here. So uh, we really need more, uh, more time to build up uh, that region with 10 plus uh, that'll be fine uh, because we have enough on Intel. Yeah, but until then, we just gotta recruit, recruit, recruit. In terms of squad management, that's a really poor side. I wonder, here's the deal. I wanted to go to North America anyways. So I'll do something that I normally wouldn't do. I... Uh, Move away from my original plan and you guys all or a lot of you go to Intel to will uh, go on to recruitment. Okay, so furthermore, we do have scientists, we have enough. Mm -mm. Furthermore, what I will do is I will uh, Shift over one scientist to here. And my hope is that we're going to see new missions coming in here as well. I might even scan up there, but for now we need to get that and the asserted loot and then the supply drop. So next days of scanning are already, uh, are already taken up anyways. 
Good. That's the end of today's mission. We're doing the smash and grab the next time. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy the long war content as always. And uh, see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.